particularly wavy. Okay, good stuff. All right, I'm going to bring it down, guys. I'm going to relax it down. We're going to do some of our, a bit based on what we weren't catching from from yesterday, but we're going to do this nice and slow, and some of the stretch we're going to hold for a little bit longer, all right? If you're ever doing a stretch and it gets a bit uncomfortable, remember, ease back off it. You control that, and you're all experienced enough now to, in the future, any classes you do anywhere, in a gym, online, or whatever, or with myself, and you've done enough repetitions, you know what your 15 is, you know about all the scores, how you work, how your body feels, how you stretch it, and you get uncomfortable, you're in control, you're easy off, not the person in front of you. They are your guide, okay? All right, so from there, let's just transfer the body weight left and right, a little bit of a Del Boy. If you haven't seen it yet, guys, what's triggers moments this morning on, on the thing? It's well worth it. A little bit of smile to the day, but no quizzes for Saturdays for a while. Let's do a little bit of fools and horses every weekend, shall we? Left and right, left and right. A little pause, then from there, curl the toes up, place them back down nice and gently. One more time, curl them up, place them back down. If I take a pause there, have you noticed how you're na naturally, you're bringing your breathing down, you're engaging those 30%. I've brainwashed you all. They call it conditioning in the fitness industry. I call it brainwashing. Okay, all right. Let's get the breaths in three times. Keep the movements going. Hands up and out. Arcs and circles. Turn the hands up. Breathe. Exhale down to the heart. Thumbs on the sternum. We get there. We take it back out. Again, make sure knees are just off lock. Turn the hands up and breathe in. And we're exhaling back down. The thumbs are there. We're squishing it back out. And we turn them up and breathe in. And we exhale back down his clip, Wayne from Wolverhampton in. Good stuff. Any complaints about the weather, guys? Wayne is the man that you've got to text. He's a weatherman. Okay, so pause hold. Think 30%. Lateral thoracic breathing. Think good, you know what? Good thoughts. You've got the thought in your brain. You can't say get rid of the brain and get the thoughts out of it. Wash it out. You can't say stop thinking the problems that you've got. Just focus, guys, on whatever. Just relax that body down. Okay. 30% pelvic floor out, thumb on the sternum, focus concentration. This is our me time. We're going to work this one. Squish the hands out, try and reach the walls. Push it out, push it. Feel the body come upwards. Feel the core engagement. Turn the hands up towards the ceiling and keep rolling them to the rear. Palms towards the ceiling. Open little fingers up from the thumbs. Keep rolling back, roll back, roll back, roll back. Big deep breath in. Exhale down to the heart. Elbow's going to be high this time because a three second isometric push in. Go. And two. And three. And hook the hands over and a three second pull apart. Go. If you haven't done the press and play yesterday's, yesterday's isometrics, it's a cracker, guys. It's 30 minutes. You're in, out, full body, done. Relax that down. Hands to the side. Hold the thumb. Spinal. Feeling the worst tingly bit we get. Roll the shoulders forwards. Two, three, four, five times, whatever you want to do, roll them backwards. Two, three, four, five times, whatever you want to do. How the push is the push up challenge going? Are we doing it? Is there any Pinocchio noses? If you all turn your head. When we drop head to the side, I'll be checking those noses. All right. So hands to the side, lean over left or right, any way you want to go. Feel that stretch in the waistline, don't go any further. Some days, you know, on a spinal mobilization, you're going to go a long way, other days, it won't be so far. Bring it back up and go over the other side. There. And it's all part of the relaxing us down and getting the mental focus process in. And bring that back. Remember, relaxing is when you've got the brain just relaxed and just mental focus. You're thinking about something and you're calm. When you're asleep, you're asleep. That's not relaxed. That's asleep. Right. Hands up and out. Palms facing in. Put your concrete boots on. And take the hands around left and right. So don't let the body weight transfer to the insteps or the outsteps. A couple more of those. Now take the concrete boots off and let the insteps to outsteps roll across, guys. Let them roll there. Don't curl the toes downwards. In fact, if I get, if I'm tempted to, I deliberately curl my toes upwards and then I relax them down. I probably do that all during throughout sessions, I suppose. Last one that side, and the last one this side, and then back round to me, we'll turn those hands up and breathe in. 
Exhale down to the heart. We're now doing bigger arcs and circles because the tissues are relaxing and they're stretching, they're elongating. Arc those hands nicely down, guys, and give everything a nice, just gentle shake out. Even if you're comfortable on that position on the floor, move the feet out, give them a nice gentle shake, little Mexican wave of the fingers, rubbing the back of the hands. We're going to do like we started so we yesterday morning, worm catchers, those of you who are there, guys. We are going to start at the top because we haven't done it for ages. We've done the bottom, the middle, up and a Let's get to our favorite straight away. Hold that thumb, guys. Good posture, get comfortable on the floor, curl the toes up, back down again. Imaginary strength through the ears. Big, deep breath in, go. <sighs> Exhale and let the head go any side you want to. I've gone over my left side. And just let gravity do the work. We're not gonna move in the head over. Sometimes we push the head down a little bit, work it. We're just gonna let gravity do that. Remember, don't wait for me to say breathe in again. It's lateral thoracic breathing once you breathe out. Breathe in. <sighs> Exhale. Let the head tilt over again. It's nice and slow. And just get that feeling, guys, of how far over your head goes in two breaths now to how it ever used to. And it feels comfortable. Two and a one. Breathing in. <sighs> Exhale. Slowly bringing the head back up again. Holding that position before we do the other side, thumb, rotate the shoulders forwards at least twice and then backwards at least twice. Whatever side you have your head tilted over, now rotate it around to that direction and drop the chin to the chest or the shoulder. There, bring it back up, back around towards me and it's whites of the eyes. From there, we're going to breathe in, drop the chin down to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Chin coming down to the chest. Looking at the floor. In fact, I won't be looking at the floor, but my eyes are closed. And just feel the tight. Now it's across the top of the scapulas a little bit. And if that feels a bit unusual, that's because you've been doing your daily push-ups. All right, we're stretching it out across the top of the back at the same time. Breathing in, exhale, bring the head back upwards. And now we're gonna go over the other side, put the imaginary string back through the ears, breathe in, exhale, and over we go to the other side. And again, it's gonna feel initially a bit tight because we're working all the way around. And I feel the tension in the middle. I suppose the bottom third of the scalenes are dis will disappear under the shoulder into the rotator cuff, breathe in. Exhale, and over again. Imaginary knife, guys, nice and warm going through that butter. Over we go. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the head back upwards. White to the eyes. This time, pick your spot on the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, and to the rear up we go. I've got a glass of water on my forehead already. Push that lower jaw forwards. Makes my voice go funny, but it's a big stretch. I feel it initiating down into the chest. Two, one, breathe in. Exhale and bring that head back. White to the eyes. Now turn the head around to the last head tilt. Round we go. Chin onto the shoulder. Bringing that back up and back round towards me. We're taking a big deep breath in, hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. Hands arcing down to the front. Thumb again, rotate the shoulders at least twice to the front and then twice to the rear. This is all return of circulation. It's all about the mental wellness and the focus and concentration, guys. We're gonna revisit, very, very slightly different. Inhale, exhale, chin to the chest. Down it goes, hold it there. Once we are there, lateral thoracic breathing, move the hands to the rear, stand easy position, and gently push the shoulders down away from the ears. Don't cheat and tie your ears in a knot on top of your head. Keep the chin going down to the chest. Inhale, holding the position. Exhale. And when you took that breath in, the shoulders will have come up. As it releases, you can push them down a little bit more. Lateral thoracic breathing. Three, two, one. 
slowly bring the head back up, whites of the eyes, imaginary string in the ears, any side you want, breathe in, exhale, and over the head goes. Now move those arms to the side, hands on the side of the thighs, and your long arm, we know which one that is, the one furthest away, slide that down the body, but if it doesn't move, it doesn't matter, it's all okay. It's just that thought of you pushing it away and you'll feel that stretch initiate in the top of your rotator cuff. It'll go a little bit tight, breathe in. Exhale, let the head tilt over a bit more. You'll feel that stretch initiate, keep the pushing down of the arm, two and a one. And now breathe in last time this side. Exhale, bring the head back upwards, pause and hold it there. Same the other side. Now, this arm is gonna feel a lot longer than the other. Let's balance that off, inhale. Exhale, head going over to the side. Good. Gently push that long arm away from the body. Again, you might not be able to even move it, but just the thought of pushing it down and you'll feel the stretch initiate in the top of that other shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, the shoulder rises up, you exhale, it goes down, give it a gentle push and it will release and go a little bit more. It's another little trick we do there, breathing. Last inhalation this side. Exhale, bring the head back up, whites of the eyes, looking good. Big breath in, guys. Hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathing. Lots of breathing this morning. And exhale down to the heart. Good position, capital P for posture, thumbs on the sternum. Then we're going to arc them down, take the hands straight to stand easy position behind the back. Relaxed, pick your spot on the ceiling, breathe in. Exhale, and we tilt the head backwards. There. Glass of water on the forehead, push the lower jaw forwards and slide the hands down the back. Once again, big deep breath in. Exhale. Gently push it away and upwards and keep the jaw up there and look at the movement you've got. Top of the chest fully inflated. Two and a one, breathe in. Exhale and bring that back, guys. Nice and steady and hold it there. Bring the hands back to the front, hold the thumbs. Rotate to the front and rotate to the rear. Good. I'm getting different texts off people, guys, particularly in the breathing. And... As people have to the COVID, I know it's not gone, but as we're getting back to our lives and things like that, and different things we do, different things people are noticing about how they can walk further. They, they, they're not so tired or stiff and all that sort of stuff. Singers who are feeling better with their breathing and everything we do is good. We're getting it all together. It's all for real life. Take the hands up and out, palms facing me, no concrete boots. Take it all the way around, any side you want, as far as you can. So we're drawing the dots together, starting to take it down through the body. Now you've gone as far as you can. This is the long 15s, guys. Breathe in, exhale, and take it a little bit further. And we know what we mean by the long 15s, if any of you missed it. We work past the 15s because you will be, in some exercises, unwind from that one, bring back to me. You aim for 16s or 17s. If you get there, fine. If you don't, which are most, you won't. Turn the hands up, breathe in. You can stay at 15 for a long time. And the reason we call it a long 15 is it's for you to push it a little bit further in the stretch or any exercise that you're doing because it's going to stay at 15 because your level of fitness is up there. Take those hands out, palms facing me, around and go to the other side. Rolling the feet around. Now look at the balance you've got when you're on the out step of one foot, in step of the other, and you're really pushing that body around. Get as far as you can now, breathe in. Exhale, take it a bit further, round we go. Dairy cheese wet chip. Unwind, bring it back round towards me and arc those hands nicely down, putting the palms onto the thighs. One time only, but we're going to hold it for a little bit longer. One bicycle chain, guys. So get the feet again, get the balance left and right, curl the toes up, relax, stay focused, breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, sliding the hands down the front of the body, the thighs, the knees, to the shins. Middle fingers come in in front of those toes and apply gentle pressure to the fingers. Think cat stretch, chin to the chest. Think straight legs, hold that position, big deep breath in. 
exhale. As we exhale, keep it on the 15. Aim for a 16 or 17. I bet you it stays at 15, just because you're conditioned. You're taking the body to limits, but it's going to increase and you'll get the same feeling all the way through. Hold the position, breathe in again. Exhale, increase the cat stretch. Push down through the fingers onto the floor, the fingertips. Think the legs being straight. Two and a one. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale and slowly up we come. You're going to notice these 15 stay in there even more on your stretches and it will be development. You'll be able to take it a bit further. Think good posture, guys. Nice and tall. A confident stance, looking up 45 degrees and holding it there. Good. Let's get the side of the chest inflated. Before we do that one, bring the feet out. Semi sumo, no need to measure. I suppose one little pace out to the side, foot width is enough. Hands to the side, think little teacup handles. Breathe in, exhale, and over we go. And we know the tighter we get those fingers on the armpit, you actually will release down the body and still going down there. Big deep breath in, exhale, down we go again. We're preparing guys to get the side of the chest fully inflated. Get those ribs working. Breathe in, exhale, and up we come. Now that in itself was a nice big one, okay. Other side, breathe in, exhale, and over we go. Little teapot handle, fingertips curling under the armpits, arm reaching down the body. Now even if we come for a reset and your fingers are still sliding down the body, that's still good. Still moving it down, big deep breath in. Exhale, and the chest feel nice and clean. That inside, clean feeling inside. Breathe in. Exhale, and up we come, and we know our spinal column's working super hard. So before we take that a bit further, take those hands up and out, palms facing me. One rotation either side. Take it all the way around, in steps to out steps. Then back around towards me. So join in a little bit of it. Some yoga movements with Pilates. Take it back around with our stretches. Bring it back around towards me. We're going to arc those hands down. But for now, we're going to bring those feet in. And we want it to we build up some tension mid to lower spine. So get the feet normal width, hands to the hips, and just gently, just gently rotate those hips around. Take it back the other way. I only two one side, two the other way. Good. Bring the hands to here and just gently raise up those knees. If you hit the forearms, that's fine. But raise them, aim for high knees. Last one there, last one there, arcing it down. It's a big breath, guys, because we're going to push this one up and out. Turn up breathing. Exhale down to the heart. There. Look how we are so fully focused. Arc those hands down. All right, we're going to bring those feet out. I measure it, I'm at sumo. If you only go over on this one, you need to get that long leg out, let that self adjust and push it out for yourself, all right? First off, hands to the side. Let's work it through, breathe in. Exhale, teapot handle, over we go. There, and we hold that there, good. Now, under the teapot handle, point upwards, Freddie Mercury, point your finger out as high as you can, now turn the hands like a swan head if you like. Imagine you string out the fingers, breathe in. Exhale and arc it over. Bring that over and look how far down we are going. You shouldn't have to change your feet in that position. That's looking good. Big stretch. Holding that position. Hand arced over, big deep breath in, hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Exhale. Lateral thoracic breathing and slowly and gracefully bring that hand back up all the way. We're going to arc it all the way down. Then squish those feet in. I want to stay nice and relaxed today and just shake them out. So we're not going to, so we're going to do a stretch and we'll do a big workout at the same time, but keeping the focus on. Okay. Again, hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Arc those hands nicely down. Hands to the hips, feet hip width apart. Circle around a couple of times, one direction. 
and the other direction. Now, can you feel the hip flexor start to get extra work in? Good. Okay, from there, guys, take the measure, bring the feet out, hands to the side. Good posture, abs, pelvic floor, 30%. Breathe in. Exhale, teapot handle, over we go. There. Oh, that feels good. So what we're doing is we're getting the spine go one side, then rotating it to get the other things before we come back to the big one. All right, undo teapot handle, big pointy Freddie Mercury up towards the ceiling. Turn the hand imaginary string, inhale, exhale, curve the hand over. And as soon as we curve the arm over, look at that, we start increasing. Anybody watching us would think, how can they get the spine going that far? Then we do a breath, curve the hand, and we move again. Inhale. Hold for three. Two. One. Exhale. Oh, that's a big relax as well. For a reset then, lateral thoracic breathing. Gracefully bring that hand back up all the way. Arc it all the way down. Keep the feet where they are. Hold the thumb. Rotate the shoulders forwards, coming back up towards the shoulders and the neck. Back the other way. Focus and concentration, taking the hands to the thighs, bring the feet to railway tracks nice and straight, a modified bicycle chain for the back. Breathe in, exhale, chin to the chest, and just slide that down, guys. Now, because the feet are apart or further apart, try and keep the knees straight if you can. Take the fingertips as far as you can. I've got in front of the toes. If you're the top of your foot, you're at your maximum, guys. We always work to our maximums. Chin to the chest. Keep the eyes open and look behind us. Now keep pushing those knees to the rear. Think cat stretch. Big deep breath in, hold for three seconds. Exhale. Breathe in for a reset. In we go. Exhale and slowly come back up. So we took it down the spine, through our hips and down the legs already. Slowly coming upwards. Once we get nice and tall, guys, carry the hands on upwards and out. Keep the feet in the railway tracks. Curve the hands back. Double boys welcome first. Gently lean back. As soon as you feel the pecs engage, you hold. Hold it there. Good. All right, from here. We're going to inhale, hold for five seconds. When I say go, blow out, the hands come back to the front and we become upright with a little clap. Inhale. Go. There. Good. It's explosive, guys. It pushes the air back out the lungs. Here we go. Same again. Breathing in, leaning backwards. Go. Then arc those hands down to the side, squish those feet in and give everything a nice shake out. Your good habits, roll the shoulders, scratch your ears, rub your nose, your eye, whatever your good habit is. Wiggle those fingers and shake it all out looking good. Okay, from there guys, bring the feet out. The widest sumo you can do, out we go, there. In fact, I'm glad I've got my shorter shorts on. <laughs> Lift it up a little bit. Ready. Hands to the hips. Now, imagine you string on the hips. You're not leaning back and push those hips forwards. You'll feel it straight away, right up into the adductors, into there, right? Push it forward. And the glutes are going to engage. Hold it there. Hold it there. Now, release and take it back off again. There. Good. So, you've got the string on, on my pelvic floor. I've got yours. Ready? Again, push the hips forwards. So, we've got our ears, shoulders, hips in line. It's all this area here, really pushing forward, deep core. Release, bring it back again. Feel those glutes, glutes, medius, maximus, I'm in this. All the butt engaging, ready, push forwards again. There. Hip flexors, adductors, strength around the hip area. Relax, bring that back down. We're going to join this one all together. Turn that foot that way. We're ready. Freddie Mercury, guys. Big deep breath in, follow me along. 
exhale, adductor, roll the chest over, instep of that long leg, reach forwards and try and touch the wall or whatever it is in front of you and hold. Inhale, a reset. Exhale, back up we come again. There. Two more of those, here we go. Inhale, long arm. Exhale, over we go, rolling the chest. Look at the power you've got and the control, reach forwards, good. Inhale for a reset. Exhale, up we come again there. I know it's working hard, guys, keeping it there. Last one, reaching up, breathe in. Exhale, rolling it over, there. Reaching forwards. Inhale for a reset. Exhale, up we come, nice long arm. And once we get that arc it down, and we're going to squish those feet inwards, come back upwards, and give it a nice shake out. That's a massive, massive, huge deep pelvic floor exercise, guys. So let's relieve some of that tension down before we do the other side. Take a del boy left and right. Look at your right foot. Step forward one and two, and get those hips going around all the way. Keep the feet flat, hips going round. Now roll the feet. The hips are going round, that creaky noise is my floor. <laughs> we go. So get the feet going inset, outset, toe to heel. And that'll take everything round. Take it back the other way. It's a bit like a snake hips wiggle, this one, isn't it? When you get the feet going at the same time. Two and a one. And we're going to bring that back again. Shake everything out. Get balanced with that delboy left and right body weight transfer. Here we go. One and two with the other foot. Feet nice and flat at first and take those hips around. Now, have you noticed how that tension you felt build up with a big stretch we did before? That's now released, take it back the other way, there. Because we don't just work, we don't just elongate our muscles, we work full 360s all the way around, front to rear, inside out. Good, now relax the foot down, wherever way you're going. Each foot, instep to outset, roll the foot around on its edges, on its sides, on its toes, on its heel, and take it back the other way. Round we go. There, three, two, and a one, and a shake out. That's got a respiration rate up, hasn't it? Let's get a breath, guys. Hands up and out, turn them up, breathe in. And then exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. Keep it there. Three, two, and a one. Same thing this side, guys. Okay, here we go. The widest sumo you can do. Turn your other foot the other way. Don't, now, don't get confused and do the same side again. All right. Okay. Freddie Mercury to there. Not advised on this one. Inhale. Exhale. Join it together, not breaking it down. Long leg on the instep, reaching forwards. Nice adductor, big, powerful. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe in. Exhale and up we come again. There. High. Inhale. Exhale, over again, that's a second one. There, can we reach a bit more forwards? We're getting a bit more of a dip, feel the stretches, feel the power of our pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale, coming back up. A good pelvic floor is good. It means a fantastic deep core, breathe in. Exhale and over we go. The adductors working super hard. The laziest muscles in the body along the tricep for hours on the double voice monsters. Breathe in, exhale. Bring it back up nice and tall. From there, arc the hand all the way down, graceful. Turn the feet and squish it back in. Bring them upwards, guys, toe to heel. And then once you get standing, shake it out. We're gonna release again through that area. Let me get rid of this annoying screen in the middle. Okay, good. All right, so from there, hands to the hips, feet normal. Just do a pelvic tilt this time, forwards to the rear. So roll the pelvis forwards and to the rear. There. So head and chest stay nice and still. So rocking it forward, squeeze the glutes and back and forwards and back. Now easy off, easy off and find your midpoint. Neutral spine. Good stuff. String in the hips. Same thing. It's being pulled side to side. So moving the hips left and right. So we're not leaning over. As it's moving the hips left and right. That's string. That's it. Out and back. There and back, and you can feel how that is deep inside your body now. There, feel that movement, there. Good, it's a glowing warm feeling. you opened up tissues and the, up, get the body going, guys. It's fantastic for the digestive system at the same time, three, two, 
and the one pulls hold. Hands to our thighs, bringing the insteps together. I'm not gonna say anything about the balance because you're all good at that one. Here we go, hands to thighs, breathe in. Chin to the chest and slide that downwards there. Modified, it's totally different. Your knees are gonna bend a little bit more, let that happen, we know that's all okay. Middle fingers in front of the toes, chin to the chest, cat stretch, reset, breathe in. Exhale, slowly come back up. Good. So again, little exercise to finish off. Releasing any tension and pressure we have in our lower abdominal area. Bring the feet up back to hip width to here. Bring the hands to there, guys. And this time when you're bringing knees up, try and get those forearms. You're getting them as high as you can in your own speed. Have not got to be in time with myself there. And what I can see on the screen is people bring that up. Knees nice and high and look at the balance. Look at the core, look at the nice straight lines, looking good. Last one that side, last one that side, arcing the hands down, hands to the hips. Three gentle leg kicks or raises either side. Same leg then switch over, ready? And one, back, two, there, three, and back down, other leg, go, one. Why did I say three? I said three, because if I say three and give you the number on this one, you're gonna get that leg and kick it out and work it a little bit more, okay, so well done. From there, back to a nice long stride, guys. Feet as straight as you can, back heel on the floor, hands to the hips, and lean back slightly first. Once you get to that position there, bend that front knee. Keep that slight lean back. Good. That's about our maximum, I'd say. Big deep breath in exhale, bend that front knee again. Have you noticed now, you get to 15s, but it's the body stays at 15, even when you get stuck and you've got to push it a bit more. You no longer go to 16s, 17s and 20s and 25s and things. Not with the stretching. Some we will do, but mostly we won't. Inhale, exhale, bend that front knee again. Look at the movement, look at the depth you've got there. That's a sign of a beamer, two and a one. And we'll reset that one, guys, bring that back up. Good. So by us leaning back and focusing that as well, hip flexors get a nice big stretch, but you're not going to feel it in the hip flexors because the previous exercise is what you've just done. Stepping forward with the other foot then, a nice long step forwards, heel on the floor, hands to the hips, and I lean back. And I can feel that calf stretching and working straight away. Okay, inhale. Exhale, bend that front knee forwards. And that is deep. Now, not so long ago, you'd have thought, well, I can't stretch any more than this because that heel is going to raise up. As you develop your tissues and they get used to that elasticity, that's where we increase it. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, bend that front knee. We know it's a slow process, but look how fast it goes. Two years ago, guys, starting and look where everybody is now compared to them. And it's gone like that, hasn't it? Breathe in. Exhale. Don't attempt to lean forward. Maintain the eye position, looking up slightly. I'll look at the corner of the room. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale and slowly bring that back up and shake it out. So you can feel there. You might be able to feel that in the lower back area. It's been had a huge stretch. We've now joined in then the back of the legs. So we're joining muscle trains together. And by now, you may be feeling a little bit like, oh, I'm totally <laughs> like, like a worn out bungee elastic. We're going to sit down, guys, okay? I mean, there's a few minutes left. I'm not on mute yet. I'll do it in a second. Let's have a sit down. I think we deserve it, don't you? Oh, bringing it in. That was my left knee clicking out. All right. Soles of the feet together, hands on two the ankles, good posture sitting position, be proud of yourselves, inhale, exhale and pull those feet as close as you can towards your pelvic floor and hold, sit nice and tall, you've got to keep the pressure on, you've got to keep pulling the feet to stay upright, breathe in, exhale and do it again, pull inwards, now that's a thoracic breathing and gently with your elbows, push down on the inside of the legs, trying to get the knees down and touch the floor. 
It takes work and you're going to feel the work going up the spine into the top of the back. Inhale. Exhale. Push down a little bit more. Two and a one. Then release and slide the legs out nice and straight. Keep the legs flat. Keep the back and knees flat on the floor if you can for this one. First movement anyway. Bring the fan hands out the fans. We've got fans, guys. We can bring the hooks out. Inhale. Sit and reach. Exhale. Forwards. There we go. Pull the toes towards the shins. Touch the toes. Look down towards the floor. Release the tension. Don't keep looking at, at me. I'm not looking at you. Inhale. Exhale and slide forwards. Now, if the knees raise up on this one, that's all okay. Once you get that relaxed a bit now, that's when we think about the legs. Now, the legs, if they did raise up, they'll start creeping back down again and relaxing because we're conditioned. Breathe in. Exhale, slide forwards. That's the last one. We hold for two and the one. And we release. We bring the feet flat on the floor together. Wrap the arms around the legs, forearms to the knees, and pull inwards, guys. Pull it in. Look up at the same time. Hold that position. I've asked you all to unmute. Don't do it yet. Just hold it there. Pull, pull, pull. There, I'll catch up with you. There. Inhale. Exhale and relax. Place the hands to the floor. Lean back slightly for a second. Those of you who want to unmute, you can do, but you do not have to, guys. Hold it there. Two. And a one. Okay, back that position again. Wrap the arms around the knees. Inhale, exhale, pull inwards. That's nice and big. Squish the hands out to the sides, palms facing me. Lengthen the legs outwards. Go away now and have yourselves a fantastic weekend. You all deserve it. And I enjoyed that. Thank you. One, two, three, go. Big clap. Brilliant, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, good stuff. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you later, guys. Bye, Talk. bye. bye everyone. Thank bye. you. Enjoyed bye. that. Oh, that was really good. A cup of special coffee now, I think. Bye, everyone. Bye, Ali. <laughs>